what is up guys here it's your boy kagi back at it again with a new video and today we're doing the second edition of blockchain news we're gonna keep it simple there's not too much to talk about this week but i'm still gonna talk about the little things that we got here and there now guys make sure you join my list on twitter basically i'm adding people in of the gaming industry so you can get all the news that you want about blockchain games in one feed so you join the list and you're gonna have all this news about games. So let's start with Axie Infinity. So Axie Infinity season 10 ended with an amazing tournament with a price pool of 500, not dollars. It was actually 500 whale tokens. Amazing price pool. I think that's like $3,000. Let's look at it. Let's look at it. Let's go to CoinGecko and let's look at the whale how much it is how much is the whale i think that's the whale right eight dollars so 500 times eight dollars you do the the math um there is a new upcoming artist on the axie infinity world um i actually did an interview with him his name is Ra riles riles right here interview with riles uh please take a look um also go to his twitter let me see do i have twitter right here rails rails i think it's rails i don't want to disrespect his name rails right here boom that's his art um this artist is blowing up there's a lot of artists in the action infinity world that are really good i don't want to discredit all these artists that have been you know doing art for a long time rails is pretty new to the action infinity art world but i will be doing more interviews with any artist that wants to do it um so if you're an artist that has a little bit of track record um hit me up hit me up maybe we can do an interview i have another interview this week with cloud white he's another artist investor gamer all kinds of stuff and i also released a uh, video on the luna token which is really really important it's right here if you go to op uploads it's gonna be the third one i mean the second one the second one after the rails um interview which was one day ago this was four days ago um i released that video on the luna token really important to understand the luna token the luna token is basically everything that's gonna happen in axie infinity is gonna run through the luna token so make sure you watch that and make sure you stay informed with the luna token anyway that is pretty much it on the axie infinity actually let's play this blockbuster that i made from the tournament little blockbuster right here from the tournament or other trainers that are also bringing the heat get your opponents it's almost time game time is coming Three, that is chief right two, there one let go going into round five Viv changes drew two tiny dinos gaining the energy not gonna kill without a crit not okay gonna, oh those double dinos are gonna just whomper stomper all over his dreams game one <laughs> is pretty much over because the thing about them is that chief is really 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 exciting in terms of like he's loud he has like strong ideas or whatever and he's just out there right and then catch him it's like he's the guy that that brings the tone to 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 the right level because you don't want you know like consistent just excitement like ah, ah, ah just screaming no you want moments of hype and then you want moments of chill so i think it's a perfect combination uh so shout out to you guys shout out to you guys all right so let's jump into the next game abagachi abagachi is a brand new kid in the block and it's the first game that has DeFi staked crypto collectibles and i made a shirt myself i think this little collectibles are freaking amazing and they're not just collectibles you can use this collectibles to actually play in a game the game has not released yet but you know what has released their token sell so you can now acquire it on uniswap they did release it with kyc at the beginning but people put it on uniswap i grabbed some of that i i put like 500 dollars Something like that, I think, or 300, or I forgot. But I got a little bit of it um, just to make sure I have a, you know, a small bag. So I encourage you to do what you can. Check out this game. Check out the white paper. Understand what the game is all about. I think it's this game is re revolutionary, actually, because it's the first game that, from the core, has DeFi integrated, okay? I'm really excited for the game, mostly. You know, I'm a gamer at the end of the day. That's what I am, and that's what I'm here for, for the games. You know, I want to translate 
all this crypto world and DeFi stuff into just gaming, right? The back end of all this stuff, I think is quite complicated and I want people to get excited for the game, mostly. I actually had a talk with somebody from Avagachi. We had like a 30 minute talk and he actually gave me a little bit of insight into the game and stuff like that. Not and not anything crazy, but we talked and I'm really, really excited for, for the Avagachi game. I think it's gonna be it's gonna be quite successful. And we're gonna make sure it's successful because that's what we want. We want games to be successful at the end of the day. That's what we want. If they have interesting ideas, they have an interesting take and in, into how to go about it, then we, we're gonna support them. We're gonna support them. That's what we do in this channel. We support crypto games. That's what we do, and we play them and we showcase them. So that's pretty much it for Abigachi. I encourage you to check it out. Join the Discord. Join the community. Get some tokens and read the white paper for sure you have to read the white paper next game in line is chain games they released their coins it's a chain coin um you could actually play their new game it's a, it's a gaming ecosystem which they have going on the, you guys should play their new game called super crypto Kart. basically super crypto Kart is something like mario kart but on blockchain and in every match you can um bet against other players and whoever wins the match takes the pot my main issue with this game right now it's a beautiful game i think it has a lot of potential but my main issue is that i don't think they understand competitive scenes very well people don't just start competing for money right off the bat right people first start competing against each other and then when they start feeling comfortable when they start feeling like damn i'm actually good at this game let me go into a tournament let me go into a wager right but their model right now in in within the game is literally single player and then multiplayer which is betting betting against other players right and the problem with that is that you don't get a chance to compete against other players right you don't get a chance to compete against other players before you start you even start betting right so what's my incentive to go you know blow my money against other players when i don't even know how to play the game and single player there's no way you can get good in single player it's not it's not the right simulation right when you want to get good you play against other players right and I think they can find a way in which they can do a multiplayer that that you don't you you don't get to bet, but the incentive to go bet is so big, right? They can make it so big that you're like, damn, yo, I have to get good so I could go bet, right? So I could get like so I could go wage do wagers against other people. And the way you do that is maybe in the multiplayer that you don't bet, you don't get to use your NFTs, right? You don't get to use your skins right so you're like damn bro i want to play with my skins well the only place you can play with your skins would be in the multiplayer where you can bet so it incentivizes you to go play the betting side of multiplayer right so if you have a skin and you can't use it and the only way you can use that skin is in the betting side of multiplayer then you really want to get good at the game right so you can use your skin and showcase it while you're betting against other players. Things like that. You can incentivize people to to you know to get into the betting side of the of the game. I think it's really interesting, but I don't really like um right now, as of right now, I don't really like the way the community or at least how how admins are handling people's requests. It's almost like they dismiss like what I'm saying right now, they dismiss it, you know, like, oh, how are, they're, they're reactive to it. They're like, oh, how are we supposed to make money? How are we supposed to do this? And I give them options like, yo, create NFTs, sell NFTs. There's so many ways to make money. So they're just thinking about the money right now. And I hope their innovation doesn't go to crap just because they're thinking about the money because they also have a good game. So it's kind of weird to see a good game. And then when you go to the chat, it's all about money. And it's like, what? Where am I? Like, you have a great game. Like, why not bring players in? Like, right now, I think they disabled the multiplayer for a little bit because of the high fees and stuff like that, which a lot of games have done. Like, you know, like, um, they encourage you not to, like, uh, take out NFTs or whatever just because the fees are high. And same thing with them. They're like, you know, let's, um, let's stop the betting for now. But there's no multiplayer. Like, why would I go play a single-player game? Like, online. 
That's no man. Nobody plays single player. Literally nobody plays. Even in Mario Kart. Even in Mario Kart, people don't play single player. People play online. The difference is that in Mario Kart, right, you can't bet. Imagine you could bet in Mario Kart, which that's probably never gonna happen because you know Nintendo's all like user fr um, family friendly and stuff like that and whatever. But I think they have a great game. Open the multiplayer. I'll play it right now. Open the multiplayer. I'll go play. And I'll tell my friends to go play. You know, easy, easy to use. You want to onboard people into the game. You want people to play the game first. And then when they play the game, when they get good at it, they're like, they're going to be like, oh shit, I want to compete. Just like in Rocket League. Just like in Rocket League. I don't know if you guys played Rocket League. Rocket League, same thing. You know, people started playing. People started getting good at this car soccer game. And everybody thought at the beginning, it was like, ah, oh, whatever. And then a huge competitive scene just, you know, exploded out of nowhere. So you have to open the multiplayer for people that are not crypto friendly to get in. And then once they're in, then you, you know, you bring them into the crypto world. It's just like, it's literally common sense. But anyways, I hope this game actually makes it out of that because... Um, I I I, re I do believe in the game just because I I can see the potential it has. So and that's why I'm passionate about talking about this. I'm not trashing the game. I'm just giving my honest review on what I have seen on this game. So go check it out, see what's up, and you'll see it's a it's a really fun game to to play actually. So let's jump into the next game. Another game that I'm really really excited about is Space Misfits. I'm actually making a video as I'm doing this video. I'm actually have another video in the background making right now. I actually have the folder up. I'll show you guys. So Space Misfits is an MMO set in space. It's it's amazing. It's amazing. I think it's gonna be a great freaking game. Um, let me turn this down. I don't want this to be loud. Um. Basically, that's a space station. You got the marketplace right there. Um, you can repair your ship. Um, I, I I won't show you the space site. I haven't recorded it yet. Um, but yeah, the demo is available for everybody. You don't need the founder's token. You don't need an NFT to try it out. Imagine No Man's Sky. This is what it is. This is No Man's Sky on the blockchain. So go check it out. Play it out. Um, download it. Join the Telegram. There's some helpful people there, and I think it's going to be a great game. This game looks absolutely insane. Just the little things that you could do in the game, they're like, wow, I, I see what they're going with this. All right, so we're going to talk two games in one right here real quick. There's not much to talk about. Basically, the sandbox is doing a land sale. Actually, they already did their first land sale. What's today? Yesterday, they did their first land sale with the sand token all the other lanzos have been with eth but this is the first lanzo with lan tokens as you can see there's wave one wave two wave three and wave four so september 15th wave one that was yesterday today 16th tomorrow 17th and and the next day is after tomorrow is the 18th um really interesting because it's the first time you get to use the uh, the sand token so make sure you go to their twitter um read this medium article they teach you how to you know get the uh, the sand but i can tell you right now you can get it in binance but the whole process of how to put it in your account and all that and then buy the actual land um you would have to go to the medium and read it basically if you don't know what sandbox is is basically a game like minecraft it's like minecraft but you can only your piece of land and then you could join other people's worlds and it's i think it's going to be a great game anyways Let's jump into the Nine Lives Arena. This is real quick. There's not much to talk about it. You know, if you guys don't know what it is, it's a hand-to-hand -hand combat uh, video game. It's re really, really uh, competitive game. And they just made an announcement of an announcement. So I'm making an announcement of their announcement of the announcement they're going to make. So it's an announcement of an announcement of an announcement. Yeah? Okay? So basically, they said that this Friday, they're going to talk about their next update. And when it's going to be released. Um, so hopefully they actually come out with that. If, if they don't, it's okay. Because, you know, all these people, what they're doing is working hard. They're working hard. That's all they're doing every single day. So sometimes they say things and not necessarily they happen just because, you know, they're working. They're working. 
and this game is fucking great and you can get it right now so make sure you go to 9livesarena.com and get this game get some nfts get some skins you know get into this game now because this game is going to blow up 100 i tell you right now i know video games i know what i'm talking about this game has it now guys make sure you join my list on twitter basically i'm adding people in of the gaming industry so you can get all the news that you want about blockchain games in one feed so you join the list and you're gonna have all this news about games you would know about dcl blogger he has really good content not only in game he has nfts he, he talks about a lot of things this guy's a uh, brain brain little brain right there i think there's another guy that i need to add i think his name is anarch anorak there we go i found him i found him i found him i found him his name is anorak yo make sure you follow him i think he's a he's a nice guy man he's a nice guy and he has also youtube content on many other things as well 